Selection 1. Mariah Keeps Cool by Mildred Pitts Walter. Mariah and her pals, the Friendly Five, are getting ready for a big swim meet with the help of their classmate and coach, Brandon. Meanwhile, Mariah is planning a surprise birthday party for her sister, Lynn, with guests bringing donations for the homeless shelter where Lynn volunteers. Organizing the party has also brought Mariah closer to her half-sister, Denise. Only four days before Lynn's birthday and nine days before the swim meet. Mariah felt there were not enough hours in the day for all she had to do. Lynn's party took time, but the hardest work continued to be getting ready for the meet. Each step she took as she walked down the street was measured to the approach on the springboard. She often thought about Laura Beth and wondered if all this work was worth it. Maybe she could never compete and win. Besides now having to spend four hours a day swimming, instead of two, she had to spend time on the party. Each afternoon, she worked with Brandon, members of the Friendly Five, and Denise at Brandon's house getting everything ready. Denise was more helpful than Mariah had imagined. Today, she was going to show the Friendly Five how to make paper flowers to decorate their yard for the party. Everything seemed under control except Lynn. Mariah felt that Lynn suspected something unusual was going on when Lynn sometimes suggested that Denise do things with her. Whenever Denise begged off, Lynn, sometimes offended, wanted to know just what Denise was up to. Mariah was grateful that Mama often stepped in and insisted that Lynn do things with or for her. That afternoon, when Mariah was leaving for Brandon's, she called, See you later, Denise. Where y'all going? Lynn wanted to know. Realizing she had made a mistake, Mariah quickly said, I'm going to Brandon's to swim. So where will you see Denise later? At home. Same time I'll see you when I get back. As soon as Mariah reached Brandon's, she called and asked her mama to please call home and send Lynn on an errand so Denise could more easily join them at Brandon's. Finally, Denise arrived. In Brandon's room, they all got busy cutting colorful paper flower petals and clipping thin wire, wrapping it with strips of green paper to make flower stems. Mariah was surprised at how quickly Denise shaped the petals and stems into beautiful flowers. Soon, all the girls were turning out flowers while Brandon worked on signs and banners. I think Lynn suspects something, Denise said. She better not know. This has to be a surprise, Cynthia said. Just then, Brandon's mother rushed to the door. Hurry, get out to the pool. Lynn is coming. They all started up. Not you, Denise, Mariah commanded. You hide in here. Oh, we don't have on our suits, Trina whispered as they all raced through the house. Take off your shoes, Mariah demanded. Sit on the edge of the pool. Splash your feet. Mariah listened as Brandon's mama talked to detain Lynn. And when Lynn entered the backyard, Mariah called out as if surprised. Lynn, what you doing here? I was on an errand this way and thought I'd stop to see how you guys are doing with your strokes for the meet. You're not swimming today? I'm letting them rest for a little while, Brandon said. They'll be at it pretty soon. Please, Brandon, give us the day off, Nikki suggested. No way. We gotta work. And Len, you had better go. Let me see them for a little while. Just once, Len pleaded. No spectators when we work. Rules. Suit up, girls, Brandon ordered. Bye, Lynn, they all sang as they marched inside. When Lynn had gone, they rushed back to Brandon's room. Whew, Mariah exclaimed. Brandon, you saved the day. Something's up, Trina said. Yeah, but who could have told, Jerry asked. I really don't think she knows, Denise said. I think maybe she suspects something. We better hurry and finish all this stuff, Mariah said. This is getting to be hard on the nerves. 
At dinner on the day before her birthday, Lynn announced, I just want to do nothing on my birthday but rest in bed all day. Oh, no, Mariah thought as she glanced at Mama and then at Denise. Did Lynn know? Was she going to make it impossible for them to pull the party off as a surprise? Lynn really could be a pain. Fine, Denise agreed with Lynn. Mariah and I will make breakfast and serve you in bed. You and Raya make breakfast, Lynn laughed. Sure, we can fix fruit and cold cereal, huh, Raya? You can make your specialty, Denise, Mariah suggested. She wouldn't want corn muffins for breakfast, Denise laughed. That was the only thing Denise made successfully since she had started to learn to cook. Yours are so good, Denise. Maybe, Lynn said. We'll give you millet cereal for sure, Mariah said, and they all laughed. Mariah went to bed worried. How would they ever get ready for the party? If only her sister were not so weird. Early the next morning, Mariah and Denise took a tray to Lynn's room, followed by Mama and Daddy. They sang happy birthday, and as they were leaving Lynn to eat alone, Mama asked, Lynn, are you sure you want to stay in bed all day? I'm sure. Aw, Lynn. Mama quickly raised a hand. Raya, we must honor that. In the kitchen, Mariah argued, she can't be here. We'll never get things done. Do something, Mama. Take off from work and get her out of here. I had planned to take half a day off, Mama said. Hey, remember, Lynn said she wanted some books, Denise reminded them. She'd never refuse to shop for books, Mariah said, and take her to lunch and to a movie, Mama. What if she won't go, Denise suggested. She will, Mama said. She'd better. Mariah joined her friends at the rec center. They all wanted to know what time to come to get ready for the party. Might not be a party. Mariah told them about Lynn's decision to stay in bed all day. Somebody talked and she's being cool, huh? Trina suggested. She makes me sick even if she is my sister, Mariah fumed. We told you she's weird, Jerry said. I can say that, but you can't, okay? Mariah returned home just before noon and Lynn was still in her room. I don't think she's gonna get up, Mariah said to Denise. Denise responded quickly. If she wants to act that way, I don't care. There'll be no surprise. We'll have to tell her. Just then, Mama came home. She went to Lynn's room. Mariah heard her say, Lynn, I know you don't want a celebration, but I took off so you and I can do something. I don't want anything special. This isn't special. We'll go to the bookstore. How about that? If we go, maybe Raya and Denise would like to come too. Mariah wanted to shout, no, but Mama said it for her. No, no, we said no big thing. Just me and you, get up and get ready. As soon as they were out of the house, Mariah rushed to the phone. Lens left the house, the surprise is on. By three o'clock that afternoon, Daddy had picked up all the things from Brandon's and everyone was there ready to work. Brandon's mother and Cynthia's grandmother came to help too. Mariah liked the way Denise had mixed and matched the colorful paper that covered the boxes. Only Denise and Lynn would dare mix those colors, she thought. The boxes were amazingly attractive. Brandon put his handmade signs on the boxes. Men's and boys' clothing, women's and girls' clothing. And there was a box with the sign, Clothing for Small Children. Then he helped Mariah's daddy string the big banners across the yard so that they could not be seen from the street. Where's the music? Brandon asked. Oh, I forgot the music, Mariah shouted. What's a party without music? Trina asked. Don't worry, Daddy said. I'll call Brandon's dad. He'll rig it up. Brandon's father supplied equipment for concerts and big parties. Soon, everything was ready. The yard looked festive as people began to arrive. 
The Friendly Five worked collecting food to put in boxes marked canned goods and staples and dried foods. Denise worked with Brandon's mother and Cynthia's grandmother separating clothing and filling boxes. Mariah looked around. The yard looked like a magic garden with the flowers and colorful boxes, the lights and banners. People stood together talking softly, waiting. Where was Lynn? Mariah worried. Had something happened? Brandon's father set up the musical equipment and went to help Mariah's daddy get the grill ready for the hot dogs and bring out the tub of ice for the soft drinks. The cake, hot dog buns, chips, and all the relishes were on the table. Why didn't Mama bring Len? Finally, Mariah heard the car in the driveway. She became so excited she could hardly say softly with force, Quiet, everybody! She's here! Lynn entered the backyard, and they all shouted, Surprise! Lynn's eyes widened. Her mouth opened. She quickly covered it to stifle the sound, and then spun around and tried to escape. Mama held her there until she came to herself. Mariah beamed. She rushed to Lynn and threw her arms around her. We did it, she cried. Lynn looked stunned, truly surprised. Mariah watched as Lynn looked at the banners. Happy birthday, Lynn. We love you. And sharing is caring. Then Lynn saw the boxes filled with food and clothing for St. Martin's shelter. Mariah knew she was fighting back tears when she said, I didn't want a party, but I'm so glad all of you are here. I know my friends at St. Martin's will be happy to know that you care. She looked at Mariah. Why didn't I think of this? I bet this was your idea, Raya. She's guilty, a member of the Friendly Five shouted. And my friends and our sister Denise made it happen, Mariah said proudly. Give them a hand. After everyone applauded, Mariah shouted, let's party. Brandon picked a record with some help from the Friendly Five. The music and the smell of hot dogs roasting filled the air. Mariah moved about, making sure everyone was getting enough to eat and was having a good time. Soon, she had nothing to do. She stood with her friends, watching Lynn and all of her friends dancing. No one asked her or the other friendly five members to dance. Go ask Brandon to come and dance with us, Jerry suggested. Not me, they all cried. I'll ask him, Mariah volunteered. She came back without him. His excuse is that he's playing the music. And Lynn's friends all think we're too young, Trina complained. We don't need them. Let's dance together or by ourselves, Mariah said. Later, everyone sang happy birthday and shared Lynn's birthday cake and ice cream. After that, the crowd stayed on, reluctant to leave. After midnight, when all the guests were gone, Mariah, still happy, did not even notice how tired she felt. The friendly five huddled with Brandon. Now on to the meat, Mariah cried. With joined hands raised, they shouted, one down and one to go. We did it once, Mariah said, and we'll do it again. 